What's going on? Welcome to Cineguac. Today I'm going to show you how to make a super cool squiggle animation effect just like Bruno Mars did in his music video for That's What I Like. It's super easy to do. You can probably do this in just a few minutes in Premiere. I use this in music videos all the time and it really elevates the production value. So let's get started. Cineguac. So here we are in Premiere. As you can see, I already have this video clip of this guy dancing on Hollywood Boulevard. Once you have your clip on the timeline, the first thing you wanna do is head over to your pen tool and select rectangle tool. Then go to your playback monitor and create three individual lines. Every time you create one, you can either hit escape, which will then allow you to create a new individual line, or you can hit command C or copy and then Command V or paste. And then with your selection tool, simply grab the pasted duplicate anywhere you want. And once you've created three lines, I'm just gonna create three for now, but of course you can create as many as you would like. You can sort of manipulate the position of these however you want. And once we have three good looking lines, let's just go to a part of the video clip where we want the effect to happen. So let's look for a part where his foot sort of slams down on the ground. Right here looks pretty good. And let's just drag our video layer to that point so that the lines sort of pop on the moment his foot sort of slams onto the ground. And we can just shorten this a little bit. We can always adjust the duration later on. Once we're done with that, let's head over to our effects library and search for an effect called Roughen Edges. You'll find that in the Video Effects Stylize subfolder and just drag Roughen Edges to our graphics layer. And you'll see the moment you do that, it sort of turns these lines into sort of squiggles. And with that layer still selected, we can go to Effects Controls and go to our Roughen Edges options. And where it says Border, we can sort of increase this value and the more you increase it, the rougher the edges get. And you can sort of play around with all of these values until it looks the way that you want. But right now, this looks pretty good. And once we're done with that, let's go back to our effects library and search for an effect called Circle. You'll find Circle in Video Effects Generate subfolder and drag the Circle effect to your graphics layer. And you'll see the moment you do that, this white circle sort of appears right in the center of your playback monitor. So let's just head over to effects controls and find our circle option. And let's just scroll down here. And where it says blending mode, let's drop this menu down and select stencil alpha. Then let's go up to center. And with that selected, we can sort of drag this little circle around towards our lines. And you'll see that wherever it's hovered over, it sort of creates this invisible circle making our squiggly lines visible. So what we want to do is drag this to the start where we want the animation to sort of begin. And with our playhead all the way at the very beginning, let's set a keyframe for radius. And then let's just skip ahead a few frames and let's increase the radius until the lines are completely visible. So now as you can see when we play that back, the circle sort of expands outward revealing all three lines that we've created. Once we're done with that, let's go back to our effects library and let's drag the circle effect onto the graphics layer again. And you'll see the same exact thing happens. Here we have a white circle in the center of frame. And if we go back to our effects controls, let's make sure our keyframes that we just created for the circle are visible. So that way, when we scroll up to our new circle effect, we can sort of position the playhead right in between these already existing keyframes. And with our new circle effect, let's hit stencil alpha once again. And this time we're going to hit invert circle. So now we're basically doing the opposite. We're basically going to position this right at the beginning, just like before, set a new keyframe for the radius and drag the playhead just a couple frames after the last keyframe. And when we adjust the radius outward, now the lines disappear. So when you play all that back, you have a squiggly animation. And once you've done that, you can sort of toggle the keyframes so that the animation lasts shorter or longer, however you want. If we condense it, now it'll happen a little bit faster. And once you've done that, what you can do is control click or right click 
and hit nest. And let's just call this squiggle. So now we have a beautiful nest that perfectly consolidates all the effects that we just did. And what we can do is go up to motion. We can sort of position this effect wherever we want in frame. And if you ever want to adjust the duration of these squiggly lines, you can just double click the nest and select your graphic once again and continue to toggle these however you want. And then when we go back, it will apply those changes to our nest. And if there's a lot of movement, what we can do is select our nest, go to the first frame of our squiggle animation, and go up to our effects controls, and we can set a keyframe for scale, so we can make this smaller, and we can set a keyframe for position, and we can sort of go frame by frame and sort of adjust the position of the squiggle animation so that it looks like it's following the motion of his foot. And when we play all that back, we have a beautiful squiggle animation. And if you want to duplicate this effect so that it happens multiple times throughout your video clip, instead of doing all of this all over again, what you can do is simply just copy and paste your nest wherever you would like. And let's just delete the motion keyframes that we created before. And you can sort of position this wherever you want in frame. You can even change the scale, make it a little bit smaller if you want, adjust the rotation so that it matches the position of his other foot. And when we play that through, voila. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you can apply this effect to your music videos and projects. I would love your support, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.